hey guys what's going on it's sunlight welcome back to the channel we're about to do this reading on erica mena and safari this is a subscriber request by juliana so shout out to juliana for the request juliana also sent seven questions with her request so we'll be getting into that i'll be using the crow tarot today so this is what they look like in the back and this is basically what they look like in the front it's all about crows all right, I'll also be using my yin and yang um, oracle cards at the beginning just to get the main vibe on these two. And then we'll continue with the tarot. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. Click on that notification bell, click like, leave me a comment and share as well. All right, let's go ahead and get into this reading. As always, everything in this video is alleged and for entertainment purposes only, okay? All right, Spirit, let's get the main vibe on Erica Mena and Safari. Let me grab my questions. All right, cool. All right, Erica Mena and Safari. Erica Mena and Safari, what is their vibe? What is their energy? What is going on with them? The main vibe, Spirit, thank you so much. Main vibe, Erica Mena. Oh, lots of um, dark energy with these two, okay? Right now, they are going through a transition, okay? They're both going through some type of transformation in their life. They're going through a point in their life where it's time to move on to a new chapter, okay? And sometimes moving from one chapter to another can be painful, all right? And so it's giving me they're both going through sort of the same thing in their life. Unfortunately, they have to go through it together because... They just went through a divorce, okay? So they are going through the same thing at the same time. I feel like uh, both of them knew this was coming. I feel like they've known that this was coming for a while. This is not something new. I also feel like this is telling me that they both have secrets, okay? They both have things that they're hiding. They both have things that they are not proud of, okay? So let's get into the reading with the tarot now. First question is, what's the main reason for the divorce? What is the main reason for the divorce? Let me see if I have room to move the cards a little bit more. Hold on, guys. Yep, okay. All right, let's go. What is the main reason for the divorce? Erica Men and Safari. I think their divorce was finalized already, right? Let me know in the comments, guys. You know, I don't really, I'm not really as up on things as I used to be. I'm like working too much or doing readings, so. I'm not up on things, but I think the, the divorce is finalized. Oh my God, Erica has a bad mouth, okay? Erica has, um, it's giving violent tendencies, but like verbal, okay? Lots of verbal activity here lots of back and forth arguments confusion okay I also feel like this has to do with um, her both of them expecting a certain thing from this marriage and getting something completely different you know a lot of us go through this uh, Romeo and Juliet stage right where everything seems so perfect and you don't want to let the person go at the beginning and then they finally start showing you their true colors and you're like what the hell <laughs> what the hell just happened this is a completely different person okay we go through this impression stage right where people are giving you uh an impression of who they want you to believe 
that you can like, right? But it's, it's something totally different. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, so and I'm giving it's, it's giving me lots of arguments, guys. It's giving me um offensive, offensive language. May have been a little bit too loud at times when someone wanted peace. Lots of confusion too. Like you are not the person that I thought you were. Yeah, death. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's giving that's the end. It's time for transition. It's time for something new. It's it's showing cheating too, guys, but it's also, it's giving me both of them having to, I feel like there was just a lot of arguments, a lot of um, conflicts here, disagreements, lots of um, having to stand up for yourself at certain times. So, but I feel like this is for both of them. They just were not getting along towards the end. There was a lot of issues going on towards the end. Do I see infidelity? Yes. Okay, I feel like there is infidelity. I feel like towards the end is when they were truly like really going at it. And I think we're starting to see it more now. Erica's really hard to deal with, guys. You know, you try to be a woman and be empathetic sometimes and try to understand why she's like that but she was like that when she was with sin she put her hands on sin and sin is a woman you know so um erica needs to work on her attitude it's definitely giving me she's got a fiery attitude and her mouth can be a loose cannon okay so i would say the answer to mainly why there was a divorce i feel like they weren't getting along there was a lot of verbal altercations here and infidelity as well all right second question is did erica ever cheat on safari Ooh. okay all right if i haven't said it yet everything in this video is alleged and for entertainment purposes only did erica ever cheat on safari Oh, yeah. Hmm. I feel like when things would get, when there was a lot of turmoil, whenever things would get really bad between them. Sorry, guys. Oh, gosh. I tell you guys, every time I start a reading, people want to call me. I can't do it. Sorry about that. Okay. So I feel like this is giving me every time something would happen, every time there was a disagreement or a fight, I feel like they would both either scatter from wherever they live, like he went somewhere and she went somewhere else. I do see choices here, like she had the option to do things if she wanted to. Um, so I feel like she may have escaped here and went to people who made her feel more happy. Okay. So this is what it's giving me here. Like every time there was a disagreement, she knew exactly who to run to is what I'm seeing here. <clears throat> okay, let's do one more row. Did Erica ever cheat? There's somebody from her past that she would go to, guys. Okay, she knew exactly who to go to. I'm not kidding. Somebody from her past, maybe like an ex that she would run to or turn to whenever there was a disagreement in the house. Again, I'm feeling like I know exactly where to go. I know exactly who to go to whenever I'm feeling indecisive or confused about things in life. Whenever there are disagreements with us. Okay. All right. Next question is, is Safari a good dad? Is Safari a good dad?
And Safari is a good dad. I feel like he could do more. I feel like he could give more. I feel like he could be more nurturing, be more loving, be around more. Um, I also feel like there's some type of uh, communication issue when it comes to visitations as well. Okay, so they may come to some type of disagreement when it comes to time for him to visit. Okay, I feel like he truly loves his children, but I feel like he thinks that... Um, it's very difficult, okay? The situation with the mother can make it very difficult with the children, okay? And so I'm not saying that he's innocent at all. I already know both of them got their part in this, but um, I feel like the situation just makes it difficult, more difficult for him to try to be a father. But he could definitely be more nurturing, more loving, and give them more time, that's for sure, okay? Okay? Wow. This is feeling like he really doesn't know how to control his time. I feel like he doesn't have patience, okay, with the children here. Um, I also feel like this is telling me, like, he returns them, like, in a hurry, okay? Like, there's really not much time that he gives to these children, okay? So Erica might be right when she's saying um, these things about him not being, like, as good of a father as people think okay i also feel like he lets his emotions control his emotion towards his baby mother he lets that control the time that he spends with his children so i feel like he needs to come to some type of balance in his life to where he can try to dedicate more time to these children because it's feeling like there's just no control here i feel like he's out of control guys is what i'm feeling here like he really hasn't taken control of life i honestly feel like this is giving me um immaturity okay um the fourth question is does erica still love safari does Erica still love Safari? No. Eight of Cups is giving me a strong no. Like, she's just ready to move on, ready to just move to better things, from moving from one good thing in her life to something even better, leaving things behind to just go, okay? Um, I do feel like she's grateful for her children because of what happened with this relationship, but she's not in love with him or doesn't love him as far as like trying to be with him, okay? It's a different type of love, just grateful basically that she has her children because of this man okay so she may have some love and care for him but as far as like being in love i don't think so guys i feel like he already showed her who he is Next question, does he still love her? Okay, so does Safari still love Erica? Does Safari still love Erica? All right. 
Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> I feel like he does. I feel like he tries to come back and forth because he still has some type of affection for her. Uh, however, it's just this bickering that keeps him away, okay? But I do feel like he still has feelings for her, guys. This is crazy because I would have thought it was the other way around. I would have thought she still loves him the way she fights so much. Um, but yeah, this is feeling like he still does have feelings for her. However, he knows not to go there because there's always going to be this issue, okay? They've tried the marriage. They've tried this happy life. Okay, but this is just saying, no, I can't even go there because there's always going to be something. I already know this is toxic. Let me just move along. Okay, but I think he still has feelings for her. Next question, why hasn't he spoken out? Okay, I was thinking the same thing. Why has he not spoken out? Everybody's talking, everybody's arguing. hasn't so far already spoken out he's just taking a break from the internet he wants no parts of this at all he doesn't want to make a spectacle it's like it's the end let's leave things alone okay i knew this was gonna happen All right, he knew this was going to happen. He knew something was going to come out on the internet. He expected this. And he also expected to take this little high road and not say anything. But he knew things were going to come out. <laughs> he's just not ready for this type of show guys this, his his personality is just like i don't want beef i just want to have fun i want to live in peace he's not ready for this thing he does not like public spectacles when it comes to like negativity he really does not like public spectacles and i feel like right now he's just focused on his coin focused on getting his business together whatever his businesses are i feel like that's what he's focusing on and i feel like I tell people all the time, listen, it's not worth fighting for over people. Especially not on the internet. What are y'all doing? Fighting over a man. The last question is, does he love the girl? So I believe the girl's name is Kimbella. Let's see. Does he love the girl? Does he love this Kimbella girl? He has feelings for her, guys. I feel like he spends money on her. I feel like they do spend time together. Um, I also feel like, for some reason, he feels like this is what he wants for right now. Okay? But, I, I, guys, I feel like he likes her. Okay? I do feel like he has feelings for her, unfortunately. It's not going to last long, but we already knew that. Okay, it's definitely not going to last long. Whatever they have going on is not going to last long. There's going to be some type of discord, some type of disagreement. We may even see it, see it play out on the internet the way this is feeling here. Like, the communication is just going to be all over the place is what I feel here. Like, a lot of um, issues here, okay? So, I feel like uh, we may be hearing of him talking shit or her talking shit about him. Okay, this is not going anywhere. Yeah, not going anywhere. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Strength reversed. And the Three of uh, Swords. I feel like this is definitely not going anywhere, guys. This was my reading. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next reading. Bye.